to, today I'm with Magnus from Browser Use. Can you tell me a little bit about Browser Use? Hi, I'm Magnus. Browser Use is currently the largest open source repo for around 30,000 stars where we enable AI to control your browser. So you can task, type in tasks like, please go to WhatsApp to respond to my messages, or please fill out this form for me, or log into LinkedIn, into X, or yeah, log in somewhere, extract data, and yeah, we do step-by-step -step -step execution for you to automate your workflows online. Awesome, and you also have uh, a cloud platform on top of that, is that right? Yeah, many people ask for an API, which they can just call from their own product. So we started building that over the last weeks, where you can now just include browser use in your own products. If you want to fill out forms, yeah, people like that a lot. And we wanted to talk a little bit about a call today, where someone had had some bot detection issues or some some traffic spikes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. At, at browser use, we are always in this dilemma. Some website providers, they beg us to come to their website and automate processes like filling out forms. And others, they try to have the best captures to keep away all agents. Because currently, there are thousands of agents going to some websites, which let the cost for some website providers explode, like 1000x explosion. And so it's kind of a, a race. Some really want agents to be there because they might bring them new revenue and others really, really hate them because they want to keep the user experience. Some providers, they, for example, start to do audio captures, you know, where you need to click a button, listen to something, and then say, what's the right op option? So you definitely see a race there for better and better captures to keep bots away. But of course, also the agents get more and more intelligent and at one point be just as smart as humans so they can solve all the captures. Some websites seem to want a really good agent experience and others maybe don't. And I could see how that could be challenging if you're trying to automate some of that stuff. Yes. So for example, some website providers even come to us and ask us, hey, how can we change our website, our drop down buttons, our date pickers, our buttons, so that's easier for agents to understand that? Because they already experience many agents on their website. And for example, if you sell something and now you unlock for example, new, new customers who can buy something on your website just by being agent-friendly. That can be an entire new revenue stream for you. Thanks, Magnus.